We have a blindfold here. Ooh. Oh. Here, put this on first. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to imitate your British <laughs> Now, I'm going to undress you. Ooh. We see like a little swish, oh. swish, 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 a little the bra. unhooking the bra. Oh. Mm. Right. So have you guys ever had like crushes on like stuff like that at a workplace? Yeah, <laughs> I have experience dating my own uh, boss. Oh, uh, like, yeah, yeah. Ooh. We had to keep secrets. That's yeah, like, emergency stairways and stuff. Yes. Yeah. What yeah, happened what? on the emergency stairs? Before you are like, oh, I don't watch webtoons. Stay put because webtoons are the next big thing. If you like rom-com, fantasy, K-dramas, today we're actually going to review a webtoon called An Hour of Romance. And it's a body switch genre webtoon where the main protagonist, Cha Juan, which is a perfect career woman, very uptight but competent, and a super handsome but incompetent and clumsy uh, intern figure, I guess like subordinate employee Yu Do Jin meet and their souls change for every single day for an hour. That's crazy. What an interesting plot, mm -hmm. right? How familiar are you with webtoons? Have you read it oh. before? I'm an otaku, I would say. Oh, you're an oh, otaku? Really? Yeah. I love all the webtoons and the comic books and everything, anime. Wow. Oh. Especially I love Boys Love. Boys BL. Love, BL. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. We, we should have had some BL today, but <laughs> maybe next time, yeah. They even said no. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you can't say that. <laughs> so today's webtoon we're going to review, as I said, is an hour of romance, and we call it a body swap genre. Mm. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, yeah. But do you know any other webtoons or references with Body Swap? Secret Garden. Secret Garden. Yeah, I think and also as an anime oh. lover and otaku myself, your name, Kimi no Nawa. Mm -hmm. That I still remember the male protagonist waking up in the morning and then he discovers himself as like a, a girl. Mm -hmm. And the first thing he does is like touches his oh. boobs. <laughs> like, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the first thing I would do is either like have sex as a guy or like, oh. or like off. That would be like, really? oh my god. <laughs> okay, Anna's. Okay. Because you guys never experienced that before. Like, mm. I would want to try it out. <laughs> Gina, is this uncomfortable for you? <laughs> you good? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So many body swapped uh, genres out there, but I heard that an hour of romance is different. It's very Korean mm -hmm. and was written by the writer Kim Myung Mi. And she's very famous because she was the writer for uh, What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, Kim Bi Seo Ga Wei Gure. Mm -hmm. And you guys know that drama, right? I love yes. That drama, yes. Mm -hmm. Who was on it? Park Seo Joon yes. and Park Min Young. <laughs> yes, Park Seo Joon and Park Min Young. Mm -hmm. uh, super famous, talented actors. I yes. totally watched that. Yeah. <laughs> very popular. I watched it. I watched it. Yeah. So you already know this is a guaranteed quality content yes. and it's going to be fun. So without further ado, let's just dive into the webtoon itself. An hour of romance, we're gonna do some acting, so enjoy. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I know, but that doesn't sound like a competent <laughs> career woman. I'm sorry, just but- Just go with it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you got the catch yet. Just go with okay, it. Okay, okay. Manage attack. Yes, ma'am. This brochure looks oddly similar to S Companies from the second quarter of 2014. Oh, um, I guess it's a little bit different from the reference, but it's only a few pictures and, um... Even last year's materials can barely keep up with the changing pace of the smartphone market. And yet, you decided to go all the way back to 2014. You really know how to stay ahead of the curve, don't you? I want a new outline by the end of the day. Yes, ma'am. Next up, Min. Yes, ma'am. Your presentation has too much extraneous information. To keep it simple with just a few keywords you want to highlight. Let's just start from scratch with this one. All of it? Yes, is there a problem? No, no ma'am. By the way, what's taking Mr. Yu so long? He should be done for copying by now. Sorry, the copy machine kind of messed up, so it took a while. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I I'm sorry. Oh, splash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> sorry, are you alright? It's fine, it's fine, it's just water. Thank goodness I already drank most of it. I'm so sorry, here's some tissue. Mr. Yu. Yes, ma'am? You've got pages that are double-sided, upside down, and not even in the right order. Did you even check this first? Oh, oh did that happen again? I was in such a rush that I didn't really get to check. I I'm so sorry. <laughs> Want me to go make another copy? Forget it, we're out of time. Now please have a seat already. Um, Miss Cha? 
It seems like this isn't even the right data. We were supposed to go over our DAU and MAU, but this shows the changes in ACU. D-A-M-A-C? What, what, what was that again? Okay, so wow, everybody is splendid with their acting. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. I don't know. Yeah, but we just saw a scene from episode one, mm -hmm. and it's just a normal office setting, and apparently Cha, the main uh, protagonist, female, is a very competent woman, and she's in the middle of the meeting, mm -hmm. and me, Yu Dojin, mm -hmm. uh, he's a clumsy dude that doesn't even get his papers straight and copying yeah. uh, everything. So uh, what do you think about this scene in general? I think she's an ENTJ, the main character. <laughs> so. What does that so mean? Am I. She's boss lady. Oh, okay, boss mm. material. But how how common is that for the woman to be that in that kind of position? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. In a corporate mm. setting. Yeah, that's a special setting. You is that see. normal? You um, know? Well, nowadays, yeah, there are a lot of uh, female bosses. Mm. Yeah, I've been in that situation. I feel like a lot of the female bosses have to be like that so that they can, you know, kind of command respect in mm. the male. Like, yeah. You know, That's true. They need to. to be overly charismatic. Overly, like, you know. Right, because uh, males tend to like look down upon yeah, uh, yeah. people. So yeah, uh, that's a, that's a good point there. Mm -hmm. Gina, what do you think about the first scene? Uh, the f male character is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be like that. Like, yeah, like I don't not... really like guys like that, especially yeah. at work. Yeah. If he is that incompetent, then oh. Yeah. yeah, so annoying. So he got four strikes in mm -hmm. one go. Uh, if you see the appearance of him, he's like very broad shoulders oh. and uh, very tall, and he looks very handsome, right? Honestly, if there was a really good, good looking guy at my work setting, I mean, it could pass. You know what I mean? No, it wouldn't <laughs> no, pass. It's not if, gonna happen in real life. It could happen in real life, yeah, maybe, but no. usually no. It can, and I feel like I will let it pass. So, would you like a competent worker that's just normal, or a super handsome model like figure that is? like him clumsy. in the middle <laughs> you can't have in that the middle. choose one somewhat good looking but does work a little bit clumsy but still gets the work done. Uh, if i was a ceo all i want is a one who's a good employee mm, exactly yeah. yeah competent one yeah. right right mm -hmm. so this Obviously. guy is like annoying mm -hmm. if you were to cast someone for this guy who Ooh. would it be among korean Let's actors or idols or whatsoever even for the female protagonist too Female, I have a I have a recommendation. Do you know Kwon Nara from mm -hmm. uh, Ito on Class? Ito on Class. Oh. She ah. she she had a similar role there too. She was like oh. an office lady, and she was very clear oh, and cut. I know from the glory, the villain less. Oh, <laughs> oh, the villain. The oh, villain. Yeah. Yeonjin, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeonjin, Yeonjin, Yeonjin. 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 Oh, you you think she could be? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What about you guys? Who would be? You like Papogon for like the male? Maybe Chaun. Ooh. Oh yeah! I can imagine Ooh. that character. Yeah. I can imagine that happening. Mm. So okay, that was the setting. We kind of saw what the characters are mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. and now we get into the real tea, the real story. So let's go on to EP six. A baby monk has fallen in the river. <laughs> baby monk, are you all right? Hurry, take my hand. The beads. I have to find the prayer beads. Huh? What are you talking about? I dropped my prayer beads in the water. We have to look for that right now. We can't look for those right now. Just take my hand. Ugh, I'm so screwed. I'm <laughs> done meat. Tojin, <sighs> are you alright? I'm fine. We should take care of him first. Alright. Nahu <laughs> Sunim, oh my goodness. <laughs> are you alright? What happened? I'm fine. But first, please show this man that rescued me inside. Yes, of course. Huh? Did that kid just order the old monk around? Thank you. I am deeply indebted to you. I'm Nahir. You may call me Nahir Sunim. Well, what are your names? Oh, I'm Yudojin, and this here is Miss Cha Juan. So what brings you two here? You don't seem to be like a couple, nor do you appear to be friends. Are you two having a fling? Oh! Uh, no, our company is working on something related to the temple stay experience. We're here to do a little research. Hmm, is that right? Uh, yeah. You have a very pure and rare soul. You are sincere in all that you do. And I imagine you hear that quite often. Uh, is this a scam? <laughs> like the girl from the subway the other day? Uh, um, pardon? I mean, I guess sometimes people do tell me that. Excuse me. All this spiritual talk is just fine and dandy, but I think we should get a few things straight about what just happened. Let's start with you, sir. What were you thinking letting a child go off to the river by himself? What if the tourists hadn't come across him? Had you thought about that? As long as the boy is a child monk here, the temple has a responsibility to keep him safe, don't you think? And as for you, little monk, 
I can see that you're rather precocious compared to other children your age, but you're not big enough to go off to such remote places by yourself yet, don't you think? You have to be especially careful with these rivers where the water dips suddenly. It's often a lot deeper than you'd think and there's always the risk of flash floods. Got it? It's been quite some time since I've had someone nag at me like this. <laughs> so, that is the sort of person you are, huh? You're all about following the rules and adhering to such high standards as everyone around you feels like a little worn out. I'm spot on, aren't I? I'm pretty good at catching these things. Well, you may want to take him to the hospital for a checkup just in case. Now then, if you'll just excuse me. Oh, so the lack of response means you agree then, right? Was I right? <laughs> uh, baby monk, uh, please be more careful around the river next time. Okay, so uh, we're at the next episode and time has passed. They're still at the temple state and Yudojin has been helping out the monks while Cha Juan is angry that he's not focusing on his work. Did you forget that we're here to conduct research, as in for our actual jobs? Oh, sorry. The monk seemed like he had his hands full. So do I. I've been trying to come up with ideas by myself all morning, you know? And discussing this kind of stuff with me is also one of the ways you can learn how to do your job better. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me? How would you two like to form a union? Say what? Where's this coming from? What do you think? I suppose it's too soon for that after all. Besides, this one's probably not the easiest scout to put up with, huh? You little brat! I mean, look here. I'm the one who wouldn't want anything to do with him, okay? I couldn't possibly be attracted to anyone so clumsy. And I would never be interested in someone who can't even handle his own work. Uh, it's okay. I'm not offended. Baby monk, I may have let it go yesterday, but it's not very nice to judge people and make fun of them. I'll be more upset than she is right now if you do that again. Do you understand me? You're a smart kid. You can promise me you won't do that again, can't you? I knew I made the right choice. Oh, so the baby monk came to apologize afterwards, mm -hmm. and then he says... Something very interesting, right? Yeah. So don't forget what I'm about to say. Even if something happens to you that you can't comprehend, it will all make sense to you in a month's time. But if you have trouble accepting it, feel free to come see me anytime. It goes without saying that what that little monk told us that day went way above both of our heads. As anyone could see that he was no ordinary child, we just dismissed whatever mysterious things he said as some spiritual mumbo jumbo. At least until the next day. Do, do, do. Okay, so we got introduced to the baby monk. He looks very cute, mm -hmm. uh, but he doesn't seem like a very normal being, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. A lot of wisdom. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Not for like a baby. And yes. it was very weird because the older monk was using honorifics to him. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which also, the Chaju, she was like really mad about that. She's like, why are you letting like the baby, you know, talk to you like that? Yeah. The baby monk talk to you like that. So what is your idea of of why this baby monk is so mysterious and people are treating him like that. I mean, when I first read it through and I hadn't read the later episodes, I was like, I thought he was just being a brat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought he was just like... Me too, that's yeah. like being a kid, you yeah, know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it turns out he's actually very old. Yeah. yeah. He's actually like... 189 years old. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So in Buddhism, we have this thing called Yunhui. Mm -hmm. I don't know what oh. it's in English, but reincarnation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just go through cycles of life. You die and then you get reincarnated. And he's probably going through that uh, several times. And now he's trapped in a baby monk's Ooh. body. So he probably has some kind of mystical, magical power mm -hmm. to make surreal events events happen mm -hmm. and he sees something between the two main characters right yeah. so what do you think is going to happen afterwards i think something mysterious and very interesting is going to happen mm -hmm. for example like it's pretty obvious right? yeah it's pretty Swapping obvious <laughs> what, yeah. what, say that again switching bodies switching bodies, switching bodies. <laughs> yeah we already told you it's a body swap genre yeah. mm -hmm. so that's where it's leading to i think mm -hmm. But like the baby monk compliments him nevertheless saying like he has a very pure soul, soul. and he likes to help other people. He's on a business trip yeah. essentially, mm -hmm. but he's still helping out the other monks and He also realizes that she is still so much of a workaholic as yeah. well. She like mm -hmm. I relate to this woman. <laughs> same. Yeah, yeah. It's the same. What Both kind of guys are in character. I'm not in my baby monk character yet. <laughs> yeah. We finally have a scene where their body swaps and it's hilarious so basically their bodies have changed they need to get to work yes but they need to wash and stuff this is like their second time that their body has changed so yeah. they're aware that it's gonna be changing obviously they don't want to show their naked bodies mm -hmm. so <laughs> we have a blindfold here Ooh. Oh. i think she's oh. overreacting just like whatever so i'll start here put this on first 
I was trying to I was trying to imitate your British accent, but it's not working. Here, put this on paper. Here. Oh, sorry. Wait, where, where, where is that? Sorry, I'll just do American. Okay. Here, put this on first. Now, I'm going to undress you. Ooh, we see like a little swish, oh. swish, swish, a little the bra. the bra. Oh. Ooh. Is is this really necessary? Shut up and stay still. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh, they show like the change. Okay. Done. Okay, I'm going to put the shirt back on now. I know I'm the only one looking at my topless body right now, but why does it feel like Dojin is seeing this too? Shh. I, I think I can handle the hair washing. Why would you wash my hair? Just shut up and stay still. I guess it takes longer to dry your hair since it's so long. Pat He's Pat. doing her makeup. Yeah. She's doing her makeup. Oh, this is getting romantic. I like. But it's like so weird because you're looking at your own face. Yeah, I oh, know. But how, is like, it, how are you going to get romantic feelings when you're looking at your own face? Right. I'm just saying it's like... It's bizarre. The, but the, you're washing each other's hair. Yeah, you're you're seeing each other it. naked. Yeah, but you're, and you're but each, in the in mirror, you're seeing Tojin. Yeah. As the third person's perspective, it's getting romantic, right? I think it's a bit weird. As viewers. <laughs> okay, okay. All done? Oh, not quite. I was just thinking about how I must look to other people. My voice sounds so unfamiliar right now, too. It just made me wonder if that's how other people actually see me. I don't know, but it's weird. Oh, actually, I've been feeling the same way. Really? What's it like for you, Tojin? Do you also think of yourself as attractive? <gasps> um, I'm not saying that I think you're attractive. That's just what other people say. Oh, uh, you're good looking too, Miss Cha. Oh. oh. Actually, I've thought that since the moment I met you. Oh. oh. What? This just feels too weird, getting all romantic while staring at my own face. Okay, let's just finish getting ready. Yes, ma'am. You're in this very weird environment in each other's house, naked and stuff. So what would oh. you do in this situation? What would I do? Yeah. Oh. How would you act? <laughs> I would not I be know. making as much of a fuss as her. I'd just be like, whatever, just see my body naked. Wow, <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll be just waiting for my body to switch again and then get a moment in a <laughs> But yeah, she is a little right. bit too uptight because yeah, like yeah. she's preparing blindfolds mm -hmm. and it's she's like, over the top. Oh, I'll, I'll wash my hair. But would hair. you want to like, s just like see, see what? See the body. <laughs> yeah, yes. I mean, seriously, I'd you've love never to. been a male before. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to see yeah, what it's like? Yeah, but it'll be, I mean, yeah. But it's their first time. So they might be okay with seeing the body later on. But in mm. the beginning, they might want to hide yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's like, like a typical K-drama. You have to draw it out. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And also, the guy has a wonderful body. Like, oh. he has six packs oh. and everything, so... So I'd be, like, feeling myself up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at me. Yeah, but, like, if you're going into the area of underwear and dressing each other and, like, putting makeup on and oh. showering and, and stuff... Like drying like, their hair... Like, even if I was looking at myself, I would feel something, like, weird. Like t uh -huh. Especially if you're a narcissist, narcissist and you're really in love with yourself, that'd be, like, perfect relationship. No, no. I mean, like, romantically. <laughs> in the mirror, you're seeing, like, Kuji. Like, yeah. Mm. Mm. Right. So have you guys ever had like crushes on like somebody at a workplace? Yeah. Uh, really? I mean, I have experience dating my own uh, boss. Oh. She was, she was a female. Yeah. Oh, how was it? How was um, it? it was very thrilling. Oh. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. We had to keep secrets. Uh, would nobody you, would you knew. Would you guys go into like you know like like the quarters, like, conference rooms, or no one's? Yeah, looking. emergency stairways Woo! and stuff. Yes. What yeah. What happened what? on the emergency stairs? But yeah. then isn't it awkward when you break up? Uh, no. I, I think the fun of it overweighed the the cons. Because, like, you know, we are at meeting rooms and touching each other's feet. And, you know, oh! Like, oh. that kind like, of stuff. And we went together after work to hey, each other. Why don't you write your own webtoon? Yeah, and she was my boss, so I had to use honorifics and stuff. Oh, and she, that's yeah. that's kind of like some people turn out like a fine art katana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. I oh, actually have it. the same experience. Oh, okay. Oh, Spill the tea, please. Okay. Yeah, it was at the office. Oh. And then he was not handsome, though. <laughs> oh, okay, he was not handsome at all. So at first, I was not interested in him. But then all of a sudden, he looked handsome. Oh. So about, like six months later. Yeah. And then That's I just love. called him. Then I asked him, like, are you interested in me? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but in terms of body swapping thing, right. I was like, I don't want to switch 
bodies with the guy that I like. I want to be with the guy. But yeah. I want, I'd rather just switch my life with someone who has a better life than me. You know? But but if the guy was super attractive, and wouldn't you think the body swapping would make some kind of opportunity to happen between oh, you guys, like a no. chemistry to form? No, it's a bit weird. Switching yeah. with she, the person you like. I think Anna's the type that doesn't get fantasy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm very much T. Yeah, yeah she's tea. very T. I would want to do body swapping, but personally, then you know you can talk to them, right. and then you can get to know them. Yeah, They'll you can do that without you. body switching. It becomes an excuse no, to enter each you, other's yeah, personal yeah, space and might stuff. Not know. Yeah. I want to switch with Elon Musk, like David said earlier. Oh. Oh. Elon Musk. Oh. That's what I want. So yeah, that was an hour of romance. We only saw three snippets of the whole webtoon itself, but it was more than enough to get us entertained and enthusiastic mm -hmm. about it. Overall, what do you think about the webtoon? Personally, for me, I like rom com, so I was very invested, and I'm gonna continue to watch oh. <laughs> and unravel and see their love story unravel because it's for a month, right? Yeah. So there's gonna mm. be a lot of happenings going on, so I'm very excited for that. What yeah. do you think the conclusion is gonna be like? They're probably gonna date, no? Yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. I think so. Don't spoil it in the comments. <laughs> if you guys have read the whole thing, don't spoil it for me because I'm gonna watch it. So, I mean, read it. So yeah. don't spoil it. So yeah. the romance is gonna drag on. They're not gonna do any skinship until like... They will. Yeah, but it's gonna, you know, typical K-dramas. It's gonna <laughs> get to like true. episode right, 50 right, right. and still I nothing know. has happened. That's true. Yeah. Honestly, it was a little cringy for me. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Because I'm used to all the love romantic relationship mm -hmm. between guys oh. between <laughs> men but it's between men and women uh -huh. so i was a little ah, okay it's a little cringy but it's okay okay, yeah. okay. Ah. so i thought it was very interesting because it had very korean aspects such yes. as buddhism and the korean office space mm -hmm. and everything those dynamics all together were very interesting so I think it's going to be the perfect webtoon to be dramatized into K-drama. Totally agree. Yes, so I hope you enjoyed the review today. It was an hour of romance. If you want to watch the whole series, you can check it out at Tappy Tune. The link is in the description below. We also prepared a survey for you guys to review an hour of romance for yourselves. And if you participate in the survey, you will be awarded free points on Tappy2 to unlock all the archives of webtoons they have on the site. They have an awesome archive of webtoons. Go check it out. Finish an hour of romance. I think Subini is going to finish I'm, I'm it I'm probably going to have to use my points yeah. and finish it. Yeah, so you participate in the survey yes, as well. Yes, as well. Yeah, so anyways, thank you for watching and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.